Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a Java cryptographic extension or GCE with unlimited strength jurisdiction policy files. So GCE has been integrated into Java SDK since 1.4 release and it is available for you to use. So I'll show you in some time how to use GCE to encrypt and decrypt uh, the data in Java. Uh, but before that, uh, I'm just going to show you uh, what are the various changes that have happened in JCE uh, since uh, last couple of Java releases, right? So uh, what is JCE and what are the constraints that are uh, provided in the JCE, right? So there are certain countries which provide restrictions around uh, the strength of the key that can be used to encrypt or decrypt data right and that was set to uh, 128 bits which was 16 bytes uh, before uh, Java 8 uh, actually there are uh, versions of Java 8 that have this turned off but we'll come to that in a moment uh, but that's the problem that uh, you know some countries restricted it which is why GCE uh, that was built into the GREs uh, supplied by Oracle uh, had that turned off and had a restriction of 128 bit uh, which is 16 bytes and if you wanted to use a key to encrypt or decrypt data which was more than 16 bytes then uh, you you get the error uh, which is invalid key exception Ill inval illegal key size or default parameters and we'll see this in some time how we can get this error and how do we resolve it so the solution for this uh, is to replace uh, some of the jar files that are part of JC with uh, another set of jar files that kind of removes the res these restrictions of 128 bits. So that was the traditional way to resolve these exceptions but Oracle has come up with various ways uh, to fix this in the recent versions. So let's go over that one by one. So uh, updates since Java 8 and 9. So for Java 9 and higher uh, what Oracle has done is they have by default turned on GCE with unlimited strength. So if you have Java 9 or higher, you, sh you should never ever see this error, right? Which I showed just some time back, which is invalid key exception, right? That is because in JDK 9 or the JRE that is bundled with JDK 9 uh, has uh, unlimited strength turned on and which is why you do not have restriction on the key length that you use to encrypt or decrypt data, right? So coming to Java 8, so Java 8 update 161 and higher uh, is very similar or same as Java 9. So even in these up updates, uh, the JCE unlimited strength is turned on by default. So again, if you are using Java 8 update 161 and higher, you should not see the error that I just mentioned above. Now, if you are using Java 8 update 151 and higher and obviously lower than 161, then what Oracle has done is they have bundled uh, the unlimited strength uh, jurisdiction policy files with the JDK or the GRE, but they have not turned uh, on that feature by default, right? However, they have given you a hook uh, which is in Java Home GRE Lib Security. There is a flag in it which which is called crypto dot policy, uh, which is set to unlimited. Uh, so this should ideally be commented out. But if you want to turn on unlimited uh, JCE uh, strength, then all you have to do is uncomment and make sure that uh, this field is available in that file. So we'll see all of these in some time. And obviously, if you're using Java 8 update 151 and below, then you have the problem of replacing the actual jars with uh, the new jars that Oracle provides to uh, to replace it so that you remove the restriction of uh, the maximum key length that you can use for encrypting or decrypting data. So let's go to Eclipse. Okay, so I have written a small code that uses JCE to encrypt and decrypt data. So you can see uh, I am using 32 bytes uh, encryption key to encrypt uh, and decrypt the data and the data is hello world. And if uh, the unlimited strength uh, JCE was not available then this code would actually fall, fail. So if I just run this into Java application you can see that this, this is working 
and I'll tell you why it is working so if you go to console and if you see Java version the, the default version that I I am using is 180.171 and if you go back to uh, our uh, our Java update versions so 171 is uh, greater than 161 so it has GC unlimited strength turned on by default so we are not seeing any problems there however uh, what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and change the GRE path so let me go ahead and remove this and what we'll do is we'll add library and then select uh, alternate GRE so I have added some of the JDK so let's go ahead and add 152 uh, let's click finish apply ok so let's go back to our blog and see what happens for 152 so as you can see Java 8 update 151 and higher has unlimited strength uh, bundled in the GRE but it is not turned on by default right so if I run this code now with 152 it should fail in the default mode and then when I go ahead and turn the unlimited strength on in that case it should work so let me go ahead and try to run this and you can see it failed with the same error which says invalid key exception uh, now let's go ahead and toggle that flag that we saw some time back so let's go to it's in the desktop and it was in 152 GRE lib security and that is Java dot security and in this alright so you can see there is a flag called crypto dot policy and you can see that it is currently commented uh, so let's go ahead and uncomment it and try to run this uh, code again and you can see that it works fine you can see that we do not get the exception and if we comment it back again uh, then you can see that we'll get the exception back right so the solution for for this particular version is to just uncomment this line and run the code uh, this will basically remove your uh, restriction that you have on the JC strength that you are using right so uh, we saw two of the cases we saw uh, Java JDK version which was greater than 161 uh, we saw uh, ja with uh, Java version 152 which was between 151 and 161 and finally let's see uh, a Java version which is uh, less than 151 so let's go ahead and add the GRE first so I've taken the liberty to download all the JDKs but if you want to download it explicitly you can go to uh, download java archive and you can click on oracle java archive and then you can select uh, java ac8 and then you have multiple uh, jdks that are available here uh, which are not the current ones so you can select accept the agreement and then download those so now that we know where to download it from uh, we can go back to our Eclipse so I have already downloaded uh, those JDKs onto my local machine so I'll go ahead and uh, add those JDKs into my preference so as you can see I have already added 152 and uh, the default so 152 I just showed you some some time back so let me go ahead and add uh, the one below uh, the desktop you can go to 141 actually you can just select the JDK and it will automatically import all the libraries for you so let me go ahead and select finish apply ok and now what we'll do is we'll use that particular GRE to run this project so click on properties of this project uh, you can remove the 152 version and let's add the system library and we'll select 141 that we just selected click finish apply and ok so this may take some time to build looks like we are good so now what will what would happen is that 141 uh, by default the JC unlimited strength is turned off so this code is bound to fail and the only way to resolve that is to download uh, the alternate uh, library files that are required and needs to be replaced in the security uh, security uh, folder of the GRE which I'll show you in some time uh, but let's go ahead and try to run this and you can see as expected this fails so let's go ahead and try to fix this so 
uh, before that uh, as you know uh, below uh, 151 you need to actually download those files so I have added the links uh, on the blog so for Java 8 you can go to this link and you can accept the uh, license and you can download the zip file so I have already downloaded this you can go to desktop and this is the one which is GC policy 8 and you can see this has three files readme file lo local policy dot jar us export policy dot jar so this two jar files are something that we need so let's go back to 141 go to GRE lib security and you can see there are these two files here so let's just go ahead and replace all of these now that we have replaced it uh, our code should again work fine so let me go ahead and run this code again and you can see that uh, the code is working fine because we have overridden uh, those two files right so uh, that's all for the demo uh, just to summarize again if you are using Java 8 uh, update 161 or higher which includes Java 9 then you absolutely do not have to use uh, or do anything to use unlimited strength uh, J JCE uh, however if you are using uh, Java 8 update 151 uh, uh, or higher which is less than 161 then you can turn on uh, GC unlimited strength just by toggling a, fa a file or a flag that is under Java home GRE lib security uh, and you need to turn, turn on this flag which is crypto.policy so you should uncomment it and make sure it is present in that file and that should remove the unlimited strength uh, restriction that is there and for Java 8 update 151 and rem below you need to actually go and download the jars that are provided by Oracle and then replace it in your GRE folder and then you should uh, be good to use unlimited strength JCE so that's all for this video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.